the baby hair struggle is real postpartum. Hi everyone, it's Bryony. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a what's in my nappy bag video. I have to confess, I did just record this video right now and didn't realise that the video had cut out halfway through and so I continued filming it and taking everything out and then realised I had to do the whole thing again. So rather than repack my whole nappy bag and then do this video and unpack it again, I figured I would just go through everything I've already taken out of it and show you what was in here. But first of all, this is the nappy bag that I am currently using, it's by Baby Mel. I am very, very fussy about my nappy bags. I have figured out over the years of using them, not just with my own child, but with my foster children too, like things that I like and things that I don't like. This one I quite like by Baby Mel because it's not too big, like a lot of nappy bags can tend to be quite massive, particularly like the cheap ones from Amazon, I have one of those as well, but it's just so big that I didn't really like it. And there are features that I figured out that I like and don't like about my nappy bag. So for example, I definitely want at least two pockets on the sides for drinks because you often end up like with a drink for you and then maybe a drink for baby or toddler when they get a bit bigger. Um, so that for me is an essential. The other thing that is really key for me with a nappy bag is it has got to unzip one-handed. Zip and unzip one-handed. The first nappy bag I bought was, again, one of those Amazon cheapy ones that had a wire that went across the top here on both sides, and it opens up really wide so you can get into it nicely, which is great. However, impossible to zip up one-handed, I figured out. And there are always times where you end up with a child on one hip, or you're carrying them, or you're carrying something else on your hip, and you need to be able to zip and unzip a bag one handed so this one hasn't got any stuff in it at the moment it might be quite difficult to demonstrate but with this bag I can unzip it one handed very easily and even zipping it up I might have to kind of yank it but it's doable and so for me that is critical because it annoyed me so much that bag that I couldn't zip it up and quite often I'd have a baby and I'd have to figure out how to put them down or like swing around holding them and hold the bag and say oh just a nightmare. So for me the bag has got to be able to open and close one handed so if you're new and thinking about picking out a nappy bag and like considering what you want I would say if you're going to look at them have a look about whether you can open it and close it one handed because it's very handy to be able to do that. The only thing I don't like about this particular nappy bag is the rucksack back system that they have. So I think this is the Baby Mail Georgia Eco one that they have. I love the colour, it's gorgeous. But the backpack straps, it has two straps like this, which is fine. I mean, they're not padded or anything, which would make it even nicer. But the main thing that annoys me is it has this system, which is quite clever actually, where you can either have it as a backpack with two straps like this, or you can pull this um, handle up here and it threads through and makes one long big strap that you can kind of throw over your shoulder. It is very handy to do that. However, they haven't made the edges of this handle thick enough to stop it pulling through these loops here. So sometimes if I pull it on one side, like the actual handle itself will pull through and then it kind of becomes all skewed and it just doesn't work as well. So that really annoys me. I'm going to try sewing on some thick buttons to either side here so that it can't come through this little loop that's on here and see if that helps. Um, cause that does, that's the only thing that really annoys me about this bag is that system there. So yeah. And the other thing it has is these tabs here, which allow you to basically attach it. You thread these through and then you can attach it to the handlebar of your push chair. That is quite a useful feature to have as well. So moving on to show you how I have this packed, uh, in the front pocket here, this is where baby Mel put the changing mat, which is just a small fold up one here. Um, there's not a lot of room in this front pocket, so you can probably fit like a phone and a few other little bits in here, but I personally just tend to leave the nappy um, changing mat in there. And then we get on to the main pocket, and actually having taken everything out, it's kind of useful that I can show you the structure on the inside. So it has one giant pocket that Velcro's down here. This is really big, um, down the back there. Two smaller pockets on the side here. I tend to stuff my wipes in this side and my nappies in the other side. There are actually some little nappy bags um, in here too. I don't tend to use these that much because they're really not good for the environment, but they are handy to have just in case for emergencies. If I'm out and about and I need to change a pooey nappy somewhere that I haven't got any way to throw it away, I will put it in one of these and tie it up and put it in the bag and then throw it away the next chance I get. Also very useful if you have any clothes that get covered in poo as well. Having this is great too, although I do now have a wet bag so I try to put them there if I remember. But these two pockets, very handy for having your wipes and your nappy separated. Obviously the main pocket of the bag as well, and then it has one insulated pocket on the side here for a bottle to keep it warm. Orin is mostly breastfed, he is combi fed you know, once a day with a bottle, 
but um, so I don't need more than this but if you are exclusively formula feeding or bottle feeding I would say you probably want more pockets than this so this might not be the bag for you with that situation. It also has a pocket on the back here, a hidden zippered pocket on the back here which I did put the things back in from last time and I currently have a spare mask which to be honest we don't really use anywhere now here, um, a panty liner, disposable panty liner and a disposable pad. Um, I always keep one of these on me just in case, not just for myself, but in case somebody else gets caught out with their period, so I always like to have something just in case for that. And I also have a Precious Stars little panty liner as well, just in case, again, I start spotting or I need to change my panty liner, always good to have some spares. So I'm gonna do the next section kind of back to front from how I just filmed it, because obviously I need to now repack the bag and I might as well do that in this video. So starting with the things that I currently have stored in this massive pocket at the back here. I just have some spare little breast pads. These are disposable breast pads. I Fortunately, my milk supply is now evened out to the point that I don't leak really anymore, apart from at night. So I only breast pads at night, not in the day, but I always keep some spare just in case. And then I also have a small wet bag for some cloth pads, and I keep a spare moderate and a light flow pad. My period has, I have had a period since um, Orange's been born, but it's not got back into a regular cycle or anything yet, so I always keep something on me just in case. There's also a charging lead in here too, with a USB-C charger, which charges pretty much everything that I own now, I think, uh, from a USB section, obviously it's a retractable one. And then the last thing I have in that back pocket is just my little first aid kit. This is a mesh bag that I've taken from a different changing bag and just used for this one, and it's basically just got some antiseptic wipes, some painkillers and some plasters in there in case of need. The two things that I currently store in that insulator pocket that I don't really use for bottles are a small bottle of Factor 50 sun cream and a small bottle of deodorant. BO has been one of my worst postpartum symptoms, thankfully, I think now starting to settle down. And so um, it's not, I'm not having to use this as much as I was at one point, but earlier on in my like postpartum phase this was critical because I often would be out and about and like smelling myself and going oh I don't smell good so really handy to have a little deodorant I found with me so these two just live in that pocket and then at the bottom of the bag I tend to store things that don't get used so much so I have this little um it's actually a foldable cup I got it it says Le Mer Vineyard's jersey I had this absolutely years I got this as a child I'm pretty sure and basically it's just this fold away cup um, which I think is quite handy to have with you because if you are thirsty and you need to like get some water from a water fountain or if someone else has got a drink and they're happy to give you a bit to have a sip of, you can pour it into here and then like it's just another way to have a drink basically. So this is really handy. Don't use it that often, but it's something I do like to have just in case. And then at the very bottom, I also have my wet bag. Now this is a kind of travel size wet bag. I have this in my bag just in case I'm using a reusable nappy and I need obviously somewhere to put the dirty nappies when they're done. I tend to, be honest, when I'm out and about, use disposables just for ease of use and use reusables at home. That's just what's kind of working for me at the moment. But I have one of these just in case. But it's also quite useful for if you have any soiled clothing, you can just stick them in here and then obviously just throw it in the washing machine. More eco-friendly than using those disposable nappy bags that I showed you earlier, but I do always have both just in case. You never know if you're going to forget one or... Um, one's already being used. And then onto the spare clothing that I have for Orin. My philosophy is you can never have too much spare clothing. So I currently have one all-in-one that I think is actually too small for him now. I need to change that. Yes, it is. I will change the sizing, but I generally speaking have an all-in-one um, just because if it's a cold day or you know, they're going to bed or whatever, just having an all-in-one makes life a lot easier, so they've got a full layer to put on. It is currently summer here in the UK, so I do also have a romper. Um, the weather is really cool off at the moment, it's horrible and grey today, but we did have, a couple of weeks ago, some really hot days where this is pretty much all he lived in, this really lightweight romper, so I have one in my bag just in case we have a hot day too. Some spare socks, which he almost never wears because his current favourite thing to do is chew his toes, and so anything fabric covering them is just going to get soggy and so I tend to avoid putting him in socks because he just A pulls them off and B chews them. And then I also have just a little short sleeve um, onesie and a pair of trousers and they live in the bottom too. With a baby I always think it's best to have at least two outfit changes just because you never know what's going to happen when you're out and about. So next I have his hat. I actually have two hats in here. This is his main summer hat. It's quite cute. It's from Next I think and it's reversible which is really sweet, it's got little dinosaurs on it. 
Um, so I have that in there. This is actually, it's zero, I think it's three to one year old or three to nine months, but he's currently too small for it. It does slip around a lot on his head. So I also have this little one too, which is so cute, little flat cap. Um, version which just kind of stays on a little bit better and protects his head if it's sunny and then finally in terms of clothing I also have a little uh, hoodie for him too in case it's cold next I have some reusable shopping bags I use my nappy bag as like my main bag as well so I don't have anything else with me I don't use this just for Orin and then have a separate one for me I put everything I need in one bag because it's just easier to bring one bag rather than like three so I have some reusable shopping bags in here very handy some snacks for me, Orin is only five months old so he's not weaned yet so he doesn't need any food as of right now. A spare dribble bib just in case. A muslin, absolutely essential with a baby. I have some mints that I always keep in here. A spare dummy which he never uses because he doesn't like dummies anymore but I keep it in here just in case. My wallet, my wireless headphones. Some toys for him to have, just in case we're out and about and he wants to play with something. This one, he absolutely loves. It's a little bag that also has a little kind of teething muslin in there. He's kind of going off this now, but he's loved it for ages. And this toy as well, which is a, technically a rattle, but he loves to kind of chew on the wooden top of it. My sunglasses. And then finally, my wipes and my disposable nappies. I have a ton here for some reason. There's six of them, but I generally speaking only travel with about four. I try and make sure I've got at least four, but these go in the two side pockets at the front. So this is what it looks like completely packed. And that is my nappy bag fully packed. So yeah, that is what I have in my nappy bag. I'm somebody that kind of likes to be prepared for anything. So I always make sure I've got at least a few outfits and plenty of nappies and all of that jazz. But yeah, I hope this was helpful to any of you out there who are currently thinking about what you're going to put in a nappy bag or what nappy bag you're going to buy. Like I said, this is just what works for me. Everyone is so different. So be sure to have a think and play around and also know that you will probably get it wrong the first time and that's okay. It also changes as they get older and they have different needs, etc. So yeah, just be, just be aware of all that. But thank you so much for watching guys. Do please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye everyone. Have a great day.